Hey everybody, hope you're having a good Thursday. Um, I know you're looking forward to the weekend probably. Um, the weather, I, the weather's been crazy. You never know, it's Kentucky weather, what we'll get, but um, just hang around, I'm sure it'll change. So hope you're doing good. I hope life's doing good for you. I've been talking this week about God and country and I kinda wanna just kinda keep going with those thoughts uh, today and tomorrow. And so let me, let me read something to you um, from Abraham Lincoln. I've often wished that I was more, a more devout man than I am. Nevertheless, amid the greatest difficulties of my administration, when I could not see any other resort, I would place my whole reliance on God, knowing that all would go well and He would decide for the right. We need God in our presidents, in our, in our Congress, in our Senate. We need Jesus there. And I'm going to talk about that the next two days. And we need to understand that um, in that, what I love about um, Abraham Lincoln, he's admitting, man, he doesn't have it all together. And that's one of the freedoms we have as Christians too, right? And I don't know if we talk about that. I, I am free from the expectations of what other people think. And if you know a lot about him, he really marched to the beat of his own drum. He kind of did his own thing. And I think Christians today sometimes think we need to be like everybody else or we need to be like whatever and be the best person you can for Jesus. Um, try not to do anything else but be, be his and be unique and be the way he created you to be and watch what happens when that, when that happens. So um, that's another freedom. And the freedom, uh, the one more freedom I want to talk about, and then tomorrow I'm going to talk about something a little different, but same lines, is Jesus wants to set you free from the fear of death. And um, it's shocking how many people deal with this and go through this. Um, and I think we all have it. We had that moment where we're like, what, what's going to happen? And here's the good deal. I can't tell you right now what's going to happen. I just know that there's going to be a second. And then the next second, I think I'm going to wake up and be in the hands of God. And that's pretty powerful. And I get to see family members. I get, for me, I get to see my son and my mom and my dad and people that um, have been going to the churches that put up with me all those years. And um, even if I'm sweeping in the, in the, in the gates before people get there, I'm good. I just want to get there. And all God's people say, so heaven's the goal. And I try to say that often because I think somewhere in our Christianity, we forget what the true goal is. Um, to be a good Christian is to realize that heaven's where you want to end up. Um, once you do that, everything falls into place because you want to help others. You want to change lives. You want Jesus to shine for you, in you, and through you because of who He is, not because of who you are. Um, that's, that's it in a nutshell. And if we get that, then we're on the, the right track. Hebrews 2, 14-15. Jesus became like us and shared our human nature. He did this so that through his death, he might destroy the devil who has power over death and so set free those who were slaves and all, all their lives um, because of their fear of death. Did you catch that? Jesus sets me free. I am free over the fear of death. Not because of anything I can do. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, if you tell me I'm going to die tomorrow, I may have a panic moment. But then I'm going to realize where my, where my hope comes from. I'm going to realize what He's going to do for me. And I believe this with all, all everything that's in me, that I'm going to stand before God my Father. And I'm going to sit there and I honestly should be condemned. My sin, my stupidity, all the things that I've screwed up in this world and I'm going to stand and, I, and, and at any moment he can say, you know, go the other way. But my Jesus, is, I, and I, this is just my picture, he's going to put his arm around me. And he's going to look at the Father and, he go, and he's going to say, he's with me. I'm with him and I need to do that here on this earth. I need to do it, and that's the only way I can be free from all the, the crud and junk this world builds out. So, if you're going through a hard day, just remind yourself, I'm with Him. He's got my back. Heaven's the goal. Father, I just pray for anyone hurting right now who's tired and worn out. May they be reminded that we're with you. 
You're our hope, you're our peace, you're our everything. Lord, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for loving and putting up with me. I pray right now that we all may find you and draw close to you. In Jesus' name I pray and all God's people say, amen. Have a great day.